Today I'm going to show you how to add a drop cap to Illustrator. So you need to make sure that you've got your page open. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the rectangle box and we're going to draw a box. Then we're going to click on the type tool and paste our article. So we're going to highlight the first letter, okay, and we're going to copy that and then we're going to delete it. Then we're going to click outside of the box and then we're going to paste. So you'll see the letter that's displayed there. Highlight this letter and make sure that you ex you know uh, make it bold and expand the lettering. So make it a larger font, not too big, obviously. So once we've highlighted that and changed the font, we use the arrow key and then we drag it to our article. Okay, so there's quite a thick box around the wire. To get rid of that, click on type and then we find a option that gives us to create outline. So it shrunk the box around the letter. And as you can see, it's really close to the letters now. Just have a play around with it. And then what we need to do is go to object and text wrap make and then push it into your article and then it will push your letter in to the side whatever way you choose and then adjust it move it however way you feel the article needs to go once you're happy with that drag a box around it Go to area type and obviously once again what I showed you earlier in the videos is if you want to make it into a column you just click type and that's how you add a drop cap to your article in Adobe Illustrator.